Hey everyone. Today we're going to discuss how to consume REST APIs using Postman. Postman makes it super easy to create and use requests as well as share these resources with the rest of the team. We're going to review what are workspaces, best practices for workspace setup, how to build requests and collections, and how to use code snippets. Postman workspaces help you organize your APIs, documentation, collections, and so forth all in one place. If you're unfamiliar with Postman collections, this is where you can create and organize your API requests. We'll discuss collections in further detail in a few minutes. Workspaces are not only great for having a space where you can consume and test various APIs in your collections, but also for providing a space for designing and building your APIs using the Postman API Builder. The API Builder is where I can bring in my API definitions from my repositories, import from an existing definition file, or create one from scratch, even using a boilerplate template. Using the API Builder, I can also inspect and update the definition. I can review the related documentation that gets generated from my definition. And here at the top level, I can add the summary, description, connect a repository, add collections, and publish the API. Here is also where I can set up CI CD, monitor API performance, and connect API gateways. Now, the work that you do in a workspace, whether it's creating collections or building APIs, can be shared across your team so that work isn't getting duplicated. To that point, let's review the various workspace visibilities that we offer. When creating a workspace, I can choose from several visibility options. Personal workspaces are great for trying out a new API or working on a draft to share more widely once it's complete. Private workspaces can be used to collaborate with a small group of team members. For example, if you're prototyping new services before making them visible to the entire team. Team workspaces can be used to collaborate with anyone on your Postman team. You can assign roles, get feedback, and delegate additional work to others on the team via comments. Partner workspaces are where you can share your API and collaborate with outside organizations or get feedback from select groups while your API is in early access mode. Lastly, public workspaces allow you to share your work to the public API network, where anyone on Postman can discover and use your resources. One method for setting up your workspaces is to have a main workspace that is used mostly for reference or as a source of truth. And then each team could have their own workspace where they have active development and store resources specifically for their roles and needs. You could even have separate workspaces to onboard new teammates. Now let's say that I've built an API and I want to test out how the API will work using a server built on my API definition so that I can continue developing my business logic. If I click on code generation on the right, I can generate server side code, pick the language and framework that I want to work with, and then I can click the generate code button to download a zip file. I can use the downloaded zip file to spin up a local server. The checkbox for generating routes and interfaces is helpful if I need to only update files in case of new or updated endpoints. When I spin up the local server, using the code in the zip file, I can save the local host address as a variable in a collection that makes calls to this API. I can create a collection variable and set the value to be the local host address. That variable can be used within the request URL. This way I can run the request against the server that I spun up and test the response to see if I want to make any changes. I can also use a sandbox environment and save the local host address here. Then I can have a separate environment for production where I can store the variables that point to the real API endpoints. That way switching between testing and production is very easy and straightforward. Now the Postman JavaScript sandbox in the pre-request and test tabs allows me to add dynamic behavior to requests. For instance, I can use JavaScript in the test tab to manipulate response data, write tests and save data as variables for use in other requests. I just mentioned generating server-side code, 
But Postman also has the ability to generate client-side code for each request in many different languages. I can use this generated code snippet in my front-end applications or in automation scripts. Now let's say I have a new API that I'd like to work with. I'll need to review the associated documentation and create requests to work with the API. To start with, let's say that I want to get all the bodies in one request. I can copy this endpoint, go back to Postman, click the new button and select HTTP request and paste the endpoint in. I can leave the request as a get request since I'm just getting information. I don't need to worry about authorization or a body at this point since the API doesn't need it. I can hit the send button and check out the response data to get more familiar with the API. If I want to reuse this request, I can save it, and then the UI will ask for the request name, as well as which collection I'd like to save the request to. If I want to create a new request, I can do so right in here. Create it, and then save the request there. From here, I can continue to build more requests saved to this collection. I can also import a call request into my collection by clicking on the import button. Here I can click on the raw text tab, go back to my documentation, copy the endpoint that I'm interested in, and paste in my request in curl format. Then I can hit the continue button. And next, I'll confirm the name and format and click on import. Then I can click the send button to check out my request response and then click save to save this request to a collection. To recap, we reviewed what are workspaces, best practices for workspace setup, how to build requests and collections, and how to use code snippets.